Hello, my name is Scott Halliday. I teach AutoCAD at Navajo Technical College. Five students and myself, accompanied by uh, NASA from Langley and New Mexico Tech, we went to scan a lava tube in the Almalpais. Uh, we scanned the four windows tube. We had to carry a Ferro 120 LS laser scanner down into the tube. Had about uh, three to four hundred yards worth of tube to scan. It's very cold and dark within the tube. You had to wear proper equipment proper footwear, helmets, headlamps, some interesting things in the tube, some ice formations caused by seepage from the roof. Uh, this project was to see the viability of scanning lava tubes on the moon and on Mars see what kind of data the scanner would pick up, what kind of data could be interpreted from a scan, whether or not a 3D model could be uh, created from a series of scan so that we could immerse ourselves within that, that model. Like I said, we scanned eight different scans and stitched them together using spheres as targets which we set up throughout the tube. We scanned for about six hours during the day working from the back to the front. Students worked very well together, very efficient. Couldn't have timed it any better. We used up all our battery power at the very end of the last scan. It was a pretty successful day. Here's a composite view of all eight scans. Each scan contains 30 million points for a total of 240 million points. Uh, very computer intensive to get all these points in and view them. Uh, we used point tools to create a walkthrough. You can clearly see the people in the scans and the targeting spheres that we use. The targeting spheres that are visible were used to align each scan with, the, with another to create this composite view. The project itself is a proof of concept for NASA to determine what kind of data could be taken from sending a rover into a lava tube or a cave and scanning the interior to see what kind of structure we could pick up, to see whether or not organisms could be picked up, microorganisms, water, ice, what could actually be determined. The next step of this is to create some 3D modeling from the scans for a more immersive and interactive uh, experience. Uh, this is heading out, 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 out. to... This was a great experience for the students and Navajo Technical College, a fairly large project that we were able to undertake. Uh, this is the kind of creative project that requires a lot of problem solving. Uh, the students did a great job in placing the spheres, uh, being able to align the scans 
and uh, are doing great work in, in creating the models now for the NASA people. Uh, I think that it was a very successful day. We had also heard back from the NASA people and New Mexico Tech that uh, they are very impressed with our students and their abilities with the laser scanning technology.